Hey, good Sunday afternoon. It's uh, the 3rd of April, 2022, and this is Mike Bowen. And let's just say that the embassy is now open. The rules embassy is now open. So, <clears throat> so I'm coming up on six months of being uh, residing in Japan, and the latest thing I've been up to in order to uh, survive and thrive and to get along with uh, uh, people in my workplace and, <clears throat> and enrich my life here while we're in Japan is to learn the Japanese language. And so naturally I'm taking, but right now I'm taking a class two nights a week at my workplace and taking advantage of some additional materials which were recommended by several people who are smart uh, in the language. One of this, one of which is this, this textbook called Genki. If you'd ever decide that you want to come to Japan or you want to learn the Japanese language, this is the textbook that many people recommend, college level type stuff. So, so I've got my, so I've got my Genki, I got my Genki textbook. I've got my notebook here that I'm just taking stuff in. And today, since it's been kind of dreary here, I mean, even for the first weeks of spring, it's about 50 degrees outside and cloudy and drizzly right now. So it's a little, uh, not the kind of day that you want to hang out outside in. So um, watching a little bit of YouTube video instruction stuff on uh, Japanese language learning. So I have all these wonderful resources uh, to help me along in my, in my thing. And naturally, you want to take advantage of as many... Uh, resources as you can to to achieve your goals so naturally here's where your segue comes into triathlon um, well, I'm doing this also so that I can so that I can perhaps uh, work an age group race up in Yokohama the weekend of the uh, world triathlon series event and the world para triathlon event um, in world triathlons main language English is the is the main language under which everybody operates but uh, there was a question by the um, assistant technical delegate how much Japanese language I understood and I basically had to come out come out to him and say yeah, I am very much an elementary Japanese language learner right now so simple phrases simple words spoken slowly I'm good to go but with all these resources I hope to be uh, smarter and more adept at that language in the next few months so uh, naturally as I said here's my segue into stuff so what I wanted to talk about this afternoon is the concept of unauthorized assistance for those of you who are really familiar with the USA Triathlon competition rules, um, the, in fact, the first commissioner of officials for USA Triathlon, Charlie Crawford, used to say that triathlon was an individual tested endurance. And so um, athletes were supposed to be reliant upon their own resourcefulness in order to uh, complete the race and minimal assistance was authorized except for uh, race staff and perhaps emergency personnel and so you get on to events such as let's say iron distance events long distance events and I've seen this many and many occasions when I've been especially in Panama City Beach at the Ironman Florida where out on the bicycle course people will come into uh, difficulty have a flat tire and not be not be able to um, repair that flat or to help themselves and make a phone call to somebody to come assist them and they won't call um, you know, they're not calling technical support, they're calling family members to come out and uh, help out. And this sort of stuff is not necessarily permitted outside assistance unless it's provided by the actual event staff is prohibited under World Triathlon and USA Triathlon rules. Now, let me rephrase it. Under World Triathlon rules, 
incidental assistance is permitted between athletes and not necessarily anybody else um, related to the event outside of uh, event staff on that field of play. You can't have anybody from the outside come to help you uh, take care of a mechanical on the bike course. All right, that's, that's just not gonna happen. Uh, at, at the USA triathlon level, that will earn the athlete at least a variable time penalty. Um, for the um, World Triathlon Corporation events, such as Ironman events, that will also earn the athlete a time penalty uh, above and beyond what they're already incurring. At, at the World Triathlon level, if assistance is noted by an official, the issue is to be amended. So the official would inform the athlete that, that what they're engaging in is not fair and can't do it. Now, as I said, this is, you know, incidental, incidental um, loaning of equipment. So let's say uh, spare tire, uh, water bottle, whatever have you, that's not gonna, that's not going to cause any sort of consternation by an official. If what one athlete does in assistance of another uh, doesn't allow them to complete their own race, then the rule states that both athletes will be disqualified from the event. So, so you can help out your fellow athlete as long as you do not sacrifice your own race completely. And that's the short and sweet of everything. Yeah. Take care of yourself, take care of your fellow athletes, uh, but make sure that you keep the, keep the assistance in that immediate sphere of influence and don't ask for help from anybody outside the race organization. And that's about all I got to say for today. And I'll talk with you hopefully in a couple of weeks, all right? And if you have any questions about triathlon rules or my life so far in Japan, you can contact me at on Facebook.com at www.facebook.com forward slash USAT Rules Guy or forward slash m.s.bowen. Or you can send me an email at michael.s.bowen at gmail.com. Once again, have yourself a fantastic weekend and I'll talk with you soon.